I'm Kate Winslet, and it is my absolute pleasure to say welcome to The Graham Norton Show. <laughs> Anticipation. I'm on tenterhooks. I'm like Meghan Markle waiting to find an engagement ring in her dessert. <laughs> Ooh, Harry. Hey, can I just say, ladies and gentlemen, what a lovely week it's been for our Prime Minister, Theresa May. <laughs> oh, it was her birthday this week. <laughs> it really was her birthday. <laughs> and, oh, better way to enjoy it than with a huge party. <sighs> Conference. <laughs> Oh, my God. What a shambles that was. I tell you, first of all, to be fair, now, she did have a very sore throat. You know, that can happen when you're going, no, at poor people a lot. <laughs> um, now, <do> you... <laughs> I mean, there was so much to take in. Uh, do you see the bit where <laughs> the speech was interrupted by a prank comedian? You know, that, that guy turns up at events, behaves like a twat. Mm, you know the one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yeah. He... He... Boris... Boris is now favourite to be the next Prime Minister. Uh, I mean, I say favourite. It's like deciding which STI you'd prefer. <laughs> and to cap everything off, did you see, the letter F came loose to her party slogan while she was talking. <laughs> I mean, Theresa, you know things have really gone tits up when your own backdrop is saying F off. <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, let's get some guests on. Winning stand up and a true comedy great. He's back on our shores with his new show, Total Blackout. It's a warm welcome back to the brilliant Chris Rock, everybody! Stringer Bell in the wire and has gone on to play roles as diverse as Nelson Mandela and TV detective Luther. Please welcome Idris Elba, everybody! Oh, yeah! Yeah, oh! Hey. I just saw the fashion. I saw the fashion. Thank you very much. Very nice. It's one of our finest Hollywood escorts. She's won four Golden Globes, a Grammy, an Emmy, and an Oscar. It's a fantastic Kate Winslet! <laughs> Backstage, hanging out, hanging out, shooting the breeze. Now, Chris and Kate, do you know each other? No. Yes. No. Not at all. No. But I've always admired Kate from her work. Likewise. And she's the only white <laughs> woman celebrity with white children in the world. So <laughs> that is quite an accomplishment. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> only one. <laughs> People point in the street. Yeah, people are like, wow, look at her. I love how much you can get away with. <laughs> beautiful children. My Thank God. God. <laughs> Somebody giving white kids a chance. Well, <laughs> for once. Uh, of course, uh, interesting, Kate, you uh, now worked together, we'll talk about that in a second, but you did... W was it your first time meeting? Was it at the BAFTAs, the picture? Yeah, yes. it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we so met at the BAFTAs and we presented together. <laughs> was it last year? It was the be very, very beginning of last year, I think. And at this picture, it... it <laughs> do you know this, that it became a sort of meme on the internet? Oh, oh did yeah. it? Oh, yeah. It just knows. <laughs> Marvellous! What, 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 what did, what did I, I do wrong? You, uh, no, 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 I mean... My favourite was if Kate Winslet had held on to that Leo as hard as she's holding on to Idris, he might not have died. <laughs> I'm 
Chris, Chris Rock, it's great to have you back on our shows do, doing comedy. Are you doing these stand-up shows now because it is such rich pickings for comedy in the world? Uh, I'm doing it because I just got divorced and I'm broke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need money. <laughs> It's a global tour. Yes! <laughs> you need a lot of money. Oh, my God. See this right here? See this sip? My ex-wife got 30% of that sip. <laughs> <laughs> So you, I mean, the Trump jokes presumably just write themselves for you. Uh, yes, unfortunately. Yes. yes. I yeah. like Trump. It might work out. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a chance. Give him a chance. <laughs> you go at him in your, in your show? Do you I, a little. You know, it's really wild. I... I don't know him, know him, mm. but I used to see Trump, like, at clubs and stuff. Like, I'm that... I remember being at, like, this place, the, the China Club in New York, mm. and Trump would come in with a suit on, and girls would be all over him, like, I'm a <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Ago, they would be all over him. Wow. And he'd leave and it'd be like a bunch of girls like, Trump! Trump! What? Wow. Yes! He was the man! <laughs> but you were, you were... Now he's the devil! <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were proper friends with, with uh, the Obamas. You were at the famous last kind of White House party. I was there. It was scary. It, it was daunting. sad. It was, it was daunting. I remember, I, um... I just remember, like, hanging out, and, like, first of all, every black person was there. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Oprah. It's, it's like I died and went to black heaven. <laughs> and I remember at one point of the night, I was, like, with Michelle Obama, and she was, like, kind of sad. And she's like, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh. I don't know what's going to happen. And I was like, you'll be all right. <laughs> Housewives of Atlanta, you know, something. You know, <laughs> you'll get on something and <laughs> you will be fine. And she looks at me and she goes, I was talking about the country. <laughs> and I've never felt so stupid in my life. <laughs> and actually, interesting, we've got a picture of you. Here you are. Yes. Uh, in the White House. I met the man. Oh, look. That oh. was great. Sharing laughs. You know, Do you remember you... what you were laughing about? Yeah, no, exactly. What... Was it about I, David I said, Cameron? He said to me, uh, he said... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Is talking to him. He's just like... <laughs> President Obama at the time was telling me that I was his second favorite character in The Wire. Oh. Hey, yeah, you know. Omar, number one. Yeah, Omar was his favorite. Oh. So I laughed out loud, as you can see, like, come on, man. <laughs> now, have you have you hung out in the White House? You must. No, I haven't. No? I haven't. No, I haven't. But I did meet the Queen. Does that count? Yes, it does. <laughs> now, actually. Can I take a, you got a, a CBE. I did. Why I not did. a damehood? Why do you fast track <laughs> to Dame Kate Winslet? It sounds right. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Don't were, be you silly. were you slightly annoyed when you opened the envelope and went, oh, CBE? <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely one of those ones, for, you know, for the for the parents. My parents were very excited. Yeah. So, is the Queen a fan? Does she kind of say, "I loved you in"? No, she 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 did this extraordinary thing. First of all, she's got the most incredible skin. I mean, incredible and beautiful, beautiful bouncy hair. And of course, there's a there's a system, and you know, she's very well rehearsed and very well practiced at this. And so you're told what to do, and you sort of step forward and you curtsy or bow, whatever fumble, terrible thing I probably did. Put your hand out to shake it, and then she sort of gives you this. Sort of suggestive nudge backwards. Like, you know, you've done, that's it. Now, <laughs> go back like, oh, okay, I didn't expect that. And then she said, um, she said, well, congratulations on all your achievements. She said, you're a, pair, you're a mother, aren't you? And I said, yes. And she said, well, that is the only job. Oui. And I thought, good lady, that's good. good lady. Aww. I was really, really touched. I was really touched that she said that. And then she went... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to say, fair enough. Uh, now, Kate and Idris, you bring us uh, a new movie, The Mountain Between Us. It opens tonight. And it is that rare thing, the romantic survival movie. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's all romance is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're, we're, we're going to get John this 
years from the end of the couch. <laughs> That's all it is. Mr. Mr. 60% down there. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's an extraordinary uh, tale because it's... You, you really did... I mean, you didn't crash a plane, but you were really on this mountain. For How long were you on the mountain for, the two of you? Well, how long were we mountain for? On the mountain. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the mountain. <laughs> Press the red button for subtitles. <laughs> the, shoot was, um, the shoot was about 11 weeks, but the, the 10,000 feet... Uh, minus 38 stuff was um, we were up there for about four weeks, weren't we? Mm. Give or take. Very cold. So, yeah. Yeah. so explain the premise of the, the film. You, you're, you're sharing a small plane. Yeah, so we, we play a couple of total strangers. They don't know each other at all, and they're both trying to get from Idaho to New York. Um, I'm a photojournalist. Idris plays a neurosurgeon. He has a surgery to perform, and my character actually is getting married. There's bad weather, so they charter a light aircraft together, and the plane goes down in bad weather. Pilot gets killed, they survive. Into the side, of, <laughs> crash into the side of a mountain. Yep. And then it's the story of how the two of them get themselves, try and get themselves home. <laughs> and it's the two of you and a dog. A wonderful yes. dog. Yes. Now that dog does very well. I felt. It's a very no good chap action. lips, didn't lose weight, nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. That dog. <laughs> The dog still has a glossy coat and is chasing balls at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible performance. It was, and, it, was it just one we, dog? Yeah, and we didn't eat yeah. the dog either. It was great. You know. We did. <laughs> it just was tempting, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Can I just say, I just kind of thought, oh, please may this film not go to that place that where you're just dog. sitting by the fire looking at the dog thinking, <laughs> 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 Happened. No, it's, it you know, did relax. Not happen, no. Did not happen. <laughs> did not happen. But they did have sex with the dog. <laughs> 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 Listen, we'll wait your, we'll wait your appetite now, Chris. Uh, this is a clip for the mountain between us. This is uh, your character Kate experiencing some thin ice. Ben. really Idris as well, funnily enough. Because I've never been in that. Mm -hmm. So it's minus 38. Yeah. Now what, because you kind of think that if you stick your tongue out, does it, like what happens? How freezy is it? Do your eyes freeze together? Just don't try and take a piss, you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. That is, that is a thing. Crystals. Mm. Bing, 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 bing. It's true. It's true. Oh, and so it's little, is it little or is it one big long icicle? <laughs> You can break you off and chase people with. What? No, no, the first one's, you know, psh, steam. Bing, 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 and it's oh, Put it away. Yeah. And what? Did the whole thing. <laughs> It freezes, it does, it does freeze. freeze. Is it similar for ladies? Well, yes, actually, it is. Um, except we have to get more of our body out of our clothes in order to be able to pee, so that's rather challenging and slightly uncomfortable. But I was delighted by the porta potty It was our only structure up on the mountain. Now, the great thing about needing a poo in cold weather is that it immediately freezes. You took a poo up? Oh, <laughs> You didn't take a poo on the mountain. No, I didn't, actually. I, I genuinely didn't. But when you go into a port you know, we've all been in those horrible <laughs> port One of you had a shit at some point during this thing. Listen. I never, I never <laughs> shit, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'd go into this portal and I'd think, oh, God, really? I OK, OK, fine. Oh, everything's fossilised. No odour. This is... This, I, can, I can do this. Dude, I like this How long were you in the toilets for? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's easier... Well, it's easier for boys to wee than it is for girls to wee, so I sort of tried to kind of use the, you know, the fossilised, you know, mm. porta potty And despite the extreme temperatures, ladies and gentlemen, romance blossoms. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, no, and here's the thing, here's the thing, Idris Elba, <laughs> you would think, of, you know, we think of Idris Elba as a leading man, you know, ladies man, but you haven't actually done that many, um, love scenes. No. How, uh, how, why is that, how is that? Um, uh... 
No, I just haven't had the opportunity. You know, I've, I've done a lot of films where yeah, there's a lot of guys. <laughs> you know, yeah. no, <laughs> no, that's not true. Yeah, I just haven't. That's had no excuse. No, I'm just. <laughs> I guess you're right. What are you trying to say? No, no, no. I just haven't been... How can I say? I just haven't been in that, a romantic... That'd be a real good movie. <laughs> I'm not... No, I'm not... Um... But no, no, I haven't... <laughs> Tag. Rose in the mountains, somewhere. Um... Yeah, but, but the director... The director had never directed a love scene. Is this right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, so... Awkward. Kate Winslet, step I'm afraid forward. I had to get quite bossy because <laughs> <laughs> so I've done a few of these kinds of scenes before and so we get there and poor Hanny, our director, he's such a lovely man and, and he was really quite nervous and he had an extensive shot list and I'm thinking, oh my God, we are absolutely never going to get all this done. What kind of scene is this anyway? There's like 25 shots and, uh, and Idris was, you were a little bit nervous, weren't you? Not really, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that was my game, you know, to just get in there. <laughs> anyway, so everything was moving quite slowly, and I'm like, right, look, okay, we need to really start filming this. What, what's with all this kind of chat? And Hanny said, oh, actually, you know, I'm really kind of nervous. I've never done a... I've actually never... I really haven't shot anything like this before at all. And Nidra said, no, and I haven't done much of it either. And I went, OK, uh... boys, OK. Let's put the camera over there, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. And, and then Nidra said, keep your socks on. And I'm like, keep my socks on? <laughs> Everything else is off. What's with the, what's with the sock? He said, no, I've got a, I've got a, a, a foot thing. I've got a thing, you know. Just, <laughs> it's, it's just his thing. I don't want those socks to come off and they were, you know... Hobbit feet. Things going on. I been, uh... This was a moment. This was a moment. Oh, my because, God. But I have the... I have Hammer the, time. Listen, I've got very, very big feet. And, and they're not particularly beautiful feet either. I shall they're keep right. them. I shall keep they're them inside right. the shoes that they're in. Anyway, so I'm thinking, well, Paul Ridge just doesn't want to see my feet because maybe he just does not like feet in general, and that's the whole thing. It's the opposite, ladies and gentlemen. Idris loves feet. <laughs> Listen. Everyone, take your shoes off. <laughs> I can't wait to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, you didn't think you. You directed yourself. You directed yourself in a sex scene in Top 5, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but that's funny. How did that work? Oh, I had a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a lot of balls. Uh, no, no, I had, I had great time, great gals that were down for whatever. <laughs> you directed yourself? I did direct myself, yes. So, in between takes, would you run over to the on monitor, naked, have a quick look, and then come back? Yes. <laughs> Mom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. That is brilliant. Uh, now, the interesting thing about the film is, Kate, you're American yes. in, in the film, and Idris, you play British. Mm. And we've heard your American accent a few times. And, like, Chris, would you watch The Wire? Oh, I love The Wire. Did you know that Idris was British? Not at all. He scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of him right now. <laughs> But nobody knew you were British. Yeah, no, I, I mean, but the truth is, I, I had auditioned for this for so long, and they told me, you know, don't come in with your English accent. It doesn't sound very You gangster. auditioned? Yeah, four times. Get out of here! Come on, Chris. <laughs> you! <laughs> <laughs> who, was el who else was in the room? What, what? <laughs> OK, it's Idris or Martin Lawrence. Like, <laughs> ooh! <laughs> <laughs> actually, some of the great young New York actors, there was a lot of... Good really? Thing. Yeah, no, for real. For real. Really? If I was going to audition <laughs> and I saw you in the lobby, I would just turn around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> in this part, <laughs> Idris is here. <laughs> but we have to say, Idris, your American accent has not always been that good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My insides the... are constricting for you right now. I, I, no. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, you do. You do. The science fiction epic Space Precinct uh, from 1994. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, there's a clue. 1984? 1994. 94. Have you never seen this? Well, no, I've heard that um, it, there's a cl clip of it, and I had a quick look on YouTube. They, they dubbed my voice, all right? <laughs> it's not me. I'm, I'm not joking, it's not me. It's, it's actually it. me. <laughs> I mean, it's sad, but whoever it was didn't even do a really good American accent either. <laughs> it doesn't sound like me. Have you, have you got the clip? Yes, we do. Oh. Uh, oh. So, so this, this is Idris, but 
very subtly, and it's beautifully done, the dubbing, you may not even notice uh, <laughs> that it's not Idris speaking. Here we go. Cops, are you involved with the police, Oturi? Not to worry, doll. You just concentrate on doing what you do best, being beautiful. Sublight pizza! Hey, about time. Meet you in the bay. I'll be back. Hot delivery anywhere on Altar, guaranteed. <laughs> Good luck. Chris Rock is back. The tour is called Total Blackout. Now, a lot of the British dates have sold out, but you have added some new dates. Do you know what the new ones are? Uh, of course I don't know. I just got to play. Okay. Uh, hang on. It, I have to read very small here. Uh, extra new dates added. Uh, I think ca are Cardiff and Bournemouth new to you? Did you know you were going to Cardiff? I have no idea. You are now. <laughs> Apparently, Bournemouth International Centre is getting Chris Rock yeah, as well. Yeah, this, wow. hey, the, the whole UK should be happy about my divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and where else are you going? This is, you, you're doing North America, you're doing Ireland, you're doing all sorts of places. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Israel, uh, I'm, I'm all over the world. The, the, wherever they have, wherever they'll have jokes. <laughs> you're there. I will have okay. jokes, yes. And is it, is Japan, it? Japan, uh. Yeah, and you, you, I mean, obviously, you'll, you talk, you talk, you'll discuss your divorce yes, a little bit. Japan. Are you yes. really going to Japan? I say, yeah, yeah. There. Okay. Uh, you should uh, do Margate while you're here. Margate. I'll do whatever. I'll do your backyard. You yeah. pay. <laughs> <laughs> and is it? I'm broke, Idris. I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> and as you travel around, do you got a, a corp like when you go to Bournemouth, will you make a reference to some weird fish and chip shop you saw outside? Yeah, yeah, I, I do the little homework. Okay. Did your mayor sleep with anybody? Uh, <laughs> what street is not the popular street? What's the popular hotel? Yeah, I do try to insert all that stuff in in the act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask something? Is there so so with stand up, I have so much admiration for stand up because I just think it must be utterly, utterly terrifying. But is the show is it very constructed, or do you do you find yourself improvising more than you had thought you might? It on the depends night? on the night. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. some places the audience gives you back so much yeah. that you just run with it, and in some places it's like, okay, you gotta work. Do, right, okay, yeah. now we're almost doing a play. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and do you have, do you have audience where you just think, oh shit, I've got a really yeah, I had a really it. weird one in like uh, in, 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 in Perth. In, like, yeah. Australia. Yeah, in Australia. And I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> I gotta use all my spidey senses tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I, because I suppose humor is different culture to culture, isn't it? In country it is. And when you talk about pop culture, that changes from city to city, state to whatever, right? Yeah. But when you talk about relationships between men and women, it's exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing changes between the sexes all over the world. Right, I yeah. love that. Now, the thing is, when it comes to your kind of work ethic, uh, I think you, you've got a great attitude. Could you say somewhere, you know, people say, oh, you're so rich, but you say, but you've always had more money than your friends. Yeah, because I always worked harder than my friends. I always cleaned more yards. I always painted more fences. I, I, yeah, I've, I've been rich my whole life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And also, you didn't, you didn't mind doing the terrible jobs. No, no, I just, I'm, I, I wasn't a good-looking guy, so it helped to have money, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they'll eventually come around this way. <laughs> 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 Listen, tell us about uh, Eddie Murphy. The, the, the story of Eddie Murphy changing your life. It, it, if it's as, I think, it's like okay, a movie. My, my favorite Eddie Murphy story. Just like, because uh, Eddie Murphy kind of discovered me. And when I met Eddie Murphy, it was like, you know, late, early 90s, late 80s, like real, like, not Dr. Doolittle, like right, the right, guy real. with the leather suits. I went off. I went off. <laughs> I remember being at a club with Eddie Murphy, and Donald Trump was at this club. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling the truth. Donald Trump was at the club. So it's me, Eddie, Arsenio, and I was like, I, I wasn't, you know, famous or anything. I was like the, the kid in Bronx Tale. I was just hanging around the gangsters, you know what I mean? And this girl comes up to Eddie and goes, Eddie Murphy, I love you so much. She's a white girl. I've never kissed a black man in my life. Can I please kiss you? 
please, just, I just want to be able to say I've kissed the black man. And, and of course, Eddie's got a big entourage of 30, right? And Eddie goes, okay, okay, let me, let's get this straight. You, you can't start at the top. You got to kiss some of these broke niggas first. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> and listen, when did you do when did you do the DJing, Chris? Was that was that before stand up? Or I DJed during? before I was a stand up. I, did, I mean, I was you know I'm from New York and that's what we did back then. And we were disciples of Grandmaster Flash and Theodore and all these guys. We'd go and watch DJs. And all my friends got together and we pooled our money and we got DJ equipment and we played block parties and stuff and. Guys would rap before there were rap records. Because yeah. I have to say, it sounds so cool. It sounds so cool. And then someone showed us a yeah, picture okay. of you DJing. And <laughs> you, <laughs> you look like a ball it's boy a at Wimbledon. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't suggest cool. You're a, you're a great looking kid. Right? Oh, you're man. Look you're at great. that. Now, DJ Dries? I just did yourself now. I just, yeah, oh, no. never DJ Dries. It was DJ Dries. He's a real DJ. He yes. Yeah, yeah, but. I just get driss to sound, you know. I do driss for like when I'm, when I'm spitting bars, you know, rapping and that. But you know, Idris Elba mainly. Okay. And uh, but now you were, were you, a, <laughs> you were a Gary MC, Is this right? Well, I mean, you know, everyone was a Gary MC at one point. Everyone was like, T to the bar, to the bar, to the bar, you know. <laughs> everyone loved a bit of that. <laughs> Kate, Kate, what was your DJ name? Um, it Winsley, was... baby. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was not. <laughs> Sadly, I, I've never had a DJ name, and I've never heard you DJ. I'd love to. He's really good. I would really love good. to. Oh, thank you, Chris. Yeah, thanks. That's, you have to invite me now. No, I will. I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It was really good. It was really good. Uh, and uh, amazingly, we must also mention this is God. It is the twentieth anniversary of Titanic. Twenty years. <laughs> In my head, that's a new release. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 years. I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm 42. It must have been 10 I, when you did that, then. I had my 21st birthday on that shoot. I, wow. I remember it. I remember the amount of cake I ate. Um, <laughs> yeah. But what's amazing is that 20 years later, the love for those characters is still so intense. So, yeah. Tell us about the, the auction, the auctioning the dinner with yourself and Leonardo. Yeah, so recently, um, it was back, back in July, um, I was I was doing some fundraising for a for a, a cancer sufferer who, who who desperately needed funds for a life saving treatment and I and I thought what can I do what can I do and I was so desperately trying anything and I called Leo and I said look can we do a you know a, I don't know a, a dinner with Jack and Rose or, or something you know thinking God how am I going to pull this off and he said we'll do better than that and his foundation the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation which is completely unbelievable. He has an annual fundraiser in Saint-Tropez and he said, look, come and we'll, we'll do this. We'll auction off Jack and Rose for dinner and, um, and, and, and we'll, we'll make those funds, you know. And, uh, and I thought, wow, that would be incredible. And we raised $1.35 million. Oh. And uh, yeah. we're flipping. That's really good. amazing. And the evening went so quickly, so it all suddenly happened, and I, I kind of sort of can't quite work it out. We ended up selling three dinners to three separate lots. <laughs> so, yes. That's Jack and Rose live on, what can I say? What can I yeah. say? And does that include a tip? Uh, I don't... <laughs> no, but I'll tell you what it does include. It includes a life jacket. So Jim Cameron had very kindly, I called Jim and I said, listen, Leo and I are doing this mad thing, you know, God knows whoever's going to buy it, little did I know, clearly. And, uh, and I said, can you send us a life jacket? And so he did, he sent us a life jacket and now we need to get another two because we sold three in the <laughs> Yeah, Jack and Rose and a, and, and a life jacket. You make it sound a bargain. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so lovely because the, the, the friendship between you and and Leonardo DiCaprio is I mean it's, it's real it's not just yeah. a showbiz thing you obviously because you went through so much you were so young yeah it's true I mean it is it really is like family and uh, yeah jolly lucky to have have such an amazing friend yeah he's oh, very very loyal such a name dropper <laughs> <laughs> I think he's probably completely sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Leo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Chris, uh, did you do Titanic material 20 years ago? No, no. <laughs> do you do it now? I don't do it now. I love the Titanic. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. It was amazing. 
<laughs> I was actually in the tie. I was in the band. I, was, <laughs> I played the violin. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, Kate, uh, we were supposed to mention another film of yours coming out shortly. This is uh, Woody Allen's latest film. Yes. Uh, I'm in that one too. No. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. And uh, it, you know it's, it's a period piece. When is it set? Yeah, so Wonder Wheel um, is set in 1950 in uh, Coney Island in New York, and I play, I play Ginny, who is an oyster bar waitress, and she has a lot of regrets in her life, and uh, she's on her second marriage, living a life that she never quite imagined she'd live. She has a young son who's also a pyromaniac, um, and she meets and falls in love with Mickey the lifeguard played by Justin Timberlake and then Mickey the lifeguard also meets my stepdaughter Carolina age 22 younger prettier played by Juno Temple and it starts to make Ginny <laughs> do rather rather strange and terrible things <laughs> and a the... great character I have to say I was very lucky and Woody Allen I mean he's great he just he makes these movies and uh, but he makes them because he brings them in at quite a low budget doesn't he yes they are very very low budget which is quite hilarious because what happens is that you end up sharing trailers so I shared a trailer with Justin Timberlake it's a very hard life <laughs> <laughs> I've also been up a mountain with Idris Elba <laughs> Anyone else? Um, no. <laughs> and uh, so we, there would be a t there was a tiny sort of thin, you know, bit of plasterboard partitioning really between our sort of different ends of this very honestly small trailer. Like I would take my own kettle in each day, and so I could hear him weeing in the morning. <laughs> and I'd be like, "Morning, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, darling." And then he starts singing, and I'm like, "Oh yes, I do quite love my life." <laughs> Very, very cool. Because I don't think you're supposed to talk through that partition, are you? No, you're I supposed know, to pretend it's really solid. I know. You are. You're supposed to sort of practice the art of not hearing. I'm afraid I heard absolutely everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Or oh, I sexy back. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we've got a clip. Uh, Woody Allen has chosen it and sent it to us because uh, the film comes out later in the year. Here yes. it is. I knew I'd find you here. Why aren't you in school? Want to see this picture? It's the last day. You can't not go to school. Jesus, Richie. That's why you're in summer school, because you missed so many days. They called again and asked, is he sick? I don't like school. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. You know, I don't like waiting on tables, but we need to eat and pay the rent. Some things in life you have to do whether you like it or not. Let me watch the picture. Where'd you get the money for the movies, anyhow? I took 50 cents out of Humphrey's pants when he was asleep. What? You steal from your father? He's not my father, and I hate him. Don't you dare say that. You know, he saved my life. He's, you know, he's, he's a good person. Why does he hit you? He doesn't hit me. Yeah, when he gets drunk, he hits everybody, but he, he hardly he hardly drinks anymore. <laughs> good, good, good. 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 Very good. And what is going to be our musical guest tonight? With his band Oasis and BDI, this Britpop legend uh, became one of the most iconic frontmen of all time. Here performing, for what it's worth, from his debut solo album, As You Were, it's Liam Gallagher! <laughs> Dreamer by design, and I know in time. 
Sit down, sit down. Well done, sir. Uh, congratulations. On what? On your record. <laughs> it's not out yet, man, but it's, it's doing all right, man. I, it's I nice have, to oh, have a record oh, yes. back, you know what I mean? Doing what I do, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell you this, and you're going to think I'm lying, Go on. but honestly, in television world, it's true. What? Okay? And, uh, and the album is out today. People can get it today. Oh, yeah, it's out today, yeah. 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 <laughs> and you get the deluxe, yeah, you get deluxe country colouring paints as well, you can colour it in. Really? Yeah, you get a little colouring set and that, so when you're bored, you can just colour me in. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a thing you said you'd never do, the solo album. You said you'd Yeah, cos I prefer to be in a band, you know what I mean? Yeah. So now I'm on your jacks a little bit, it's a bit more better when you're with the lads, even though the lads are there and that. Yeah. Well, see, now I've got to do all this chatting, haven't I? You know yes, I mean? you see, that's... Uh... <laughs> well, there's no one to send you know what I mean? He's good at all this kind of thing, you know what I mean? So, but, yeah, it is nice to be back making music, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are you going to enjoy the tour more, because that will be you back with a band and yeah. back, back on the road? Yeah. Uh, because, now, uh, big you up, though, the tour... Wh how quickly did the tour sell out? I think it was about... I think uh, maybe in about an hour or something. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it wow. might have been a little bit under an hour. Yeah. That's good. Oh, hey, Chris quick. Rock. Is that's that real good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not as fast as yours. Yeah, UK, style, like. yeah, you, UK, yeah. No, the American one's still going and that. You, you keep all the money, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a lot of outtakes, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I've got to, like, uh, pay a lot of bills and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Baby mamas, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, making the record, here tonight you've got the strings, yeah. you've got all these... What have you got against saxophones? They're a bit creepy, aren't they? And a bit... <laughs> Come on, they're a bit pervy, I think, you know what I mean? <laughs> when he gets his sax out, you know something's going down. <laughs> <laughs> so then he started on this, one of the songs, he goes, oh, I've got this sax here, we're going, put it away, mate. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, no, 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 but it won't sound like a saxophone. He goes, it'll sound like a guitar. And I said, well, there's a guitar over there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a guitar, that sounds like a guitar, so... <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know, I find him a bit, like, a bit, a bit odd. So, no, no saxophones on this record? No, no saxophones, uh, mate. And now... <laughs> Uh, Liam, you and Twitter. Mm. Should, uh, why do you stay on Twitter? I like winding people up, yeah, for that, without a doubt, man. You really do, don't no, you? Without a doubt, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? It's like, everyone's a bit square at the moment, aren't they? You know what I mean? Everyone's just a bit serious and miserable, you know what I mean? <laughs> I do like winding people up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
do you mind? And, and, and I can take it, you know what I mean? I do like the wind up back, you know what I mean? But yeah, there's a bit. A lot of these rock and roll stars these days are coming and just getting a check out and going, oh, imagine Keith Moon drumming his ass off and then going home. You know, you need to boot a few things in that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And the, 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 the tweets, I mean, I know, I know that you. Some of them are a little bit like out of order, and I do apologise for them and that, but. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. And obviously there was the there was the time that uh, recently when you were hacked for to tweet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But, but previously still, that's still going on that. That yeah. was a police investigation. But but previously you had <laughs> you had <laughs> you had tweeted no a lot. And I remember how real is that? Is that like a game? And then you like you slap each other on Twitter and then you phone each other up uh, afterwards no, and have laugh. Uh, yeah. Oh god, no, that's well for real, man. Is it really? Yeah. We don't like each other, man. <laughs> a lot of people think we're waiting around, you know what I mean, for like a few more knots on the end for the thing, but they've already offered us like loads of money, like millions and millions, but not about the money, is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't realize that the age gap was so big that it's five years. Yeah. So when you're kids, five years is a big age gap. Yeah, and but it you... started off though, I think when it, the grudge started off, he bought a stereo once, he was like, I think he bought a stereo at 19 and he was working and I'd come home, I'd have my first drink. And I got up in the middle of the night and he'd had his little sound system sorted and I was looking for the lights. And my head was spinning and that and I thought, I can't find the lights. I got up to the toilet and I thought, oh fuck it. I just piss here and I pissed all over his, se <laughs> his sound system. And you gotta go, you gotta go, aren't you? And he's woke up going, how are you doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think that's where they kind of started from. In fairness, I'm now Team Noel. Uh... <laughs> listen, mate, I said to him, I said, listen, mate, it could have could have been worse, it could have been in your mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> You got away lightly, I think. Wow. Me and Liam have squared away. We, we had a little fallout. Fall only, fall fall like, only for ten minutes. Because he threw my hat across the bar. No, you started. You got no, the you air first. You got excited. You got excited. Did, got excited. did like, Liam piss in your hat, Idris? He went, no, let me feel his hair. No, I did. I gave him a hug. And, you know, he, got, he didn't like that because he loves his hair. <laughs> and then, uh, he took my hat off. The bite just went. Whoosh. So we had a little bit. Yeah, but we're good. We're all good now. Great. We'll leave it there. Liam Gallagher, and good luck with the record and the tour. Fantastic. Seriously, thank you, mate. Listen, say, Liam, say. Say. Good, good. There's more. There's more, yeah. Right, yeah. We're still on telly. Jesus. Oh, yeah. We've got to go to the weather and the local news oh, now. Right. Yeah. Um, right, that's nearly it, but before we go, we've just got time for a visit to the big red chair. Who's there? Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Rosamond. Rosamond, and uh, where are you from, Rosamond? Uh, Invercargill, New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of New Zealanders on the chair. So, and do you live here? Yeah, just moved here. Oh, you just moved here? What, what are you going to do? I've already got a job. I work in legal recruitment and HR. Goodness. Legal recruitment. That's it. quite dull. Uh, okay, <laughs> Rosamond, I'll be going with this one. Okay, well, a couple of years ago when I was at university with my boyfriend, um, he was doing a paper where he had to wear a heart monitor for the weekend. And that weekend he stayed in and I went out and on the Saturday night I came home, four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> as you do, woke him up. That, that was Liam Gallagher. I, I, well, we kind of knew where it was going, didn't we? No, we knew where, where it was, was going. It going. Well, he'd been shagging someone else. Because <laughs> the heart monitor would have gone way up while she was out. Can we not bring her back, though? Is no, that Liam, that like no, <laughs> no, it's choices and consequences. Yeah, 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 get rid of her. You chose to flip her, and now look, yeah, we're dying her. to hear the rest of her story. I am. Can I go now? No, 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 sit, sit now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, who's up next? Who's up next? Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do this. Chris Rock. That was Chris Rock got rid of him. Nice. Chris Rock didn't like him. You lot shush. Okay. Look, we're gonna read. Come on now. Cards read, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Good story. Good story. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Shirley. Shirley. Lovely Shirley. What do you do? Um, I'm a beauty therapist. A beauty therapist. Yeah. We're here in London. Yes. Oh, lovely. I'm okay. Originally from Malaysia. You're from Malaysia originally. Yeah. How long have you been here? Twenty years. Twenty years. So you must be good at the beauty therapy. Um, all right. <laughs> wow. Give with, her that, a with that ringing endorsement. No. Give her a chance. Uh, okay. Off, off, right. off you go with the story. Okay. I went to a hot yoga class one day, and with my new sports bra top, which is light blue color, so all went well, feeling good about myself. Twenty minutes later, get into to the class, I look at the reflections in the mirror, and the top has turned into a deep blue instead of light blue, except two area, which is on the nipples. So that's when <laughs> I realized 
nipples has no glands and does not sweat. And I was actually standing between two cute guys, so I panicked. I picked up the towel from the floor and started rubbing it, hopefully to blend in the sweat. But it actually got worse. So the nipple actually turned hard. So instead of just dry patches, I have two erected nipples. <laughs> dry patches. That was the longest hot yoga class ever. <laughs> the red chair. You can contact us via our website at this very address. That is it for tonight. You're good, Liam. Uh, please say thank you to my guest, Liam Gallagher. <laughs> Mr. Chris Roth. Andrew Zalva. And Dame Kate Winslet. Hey, yes. <laughs> Join me next week with pop star Nile Horn, comedian Matt Lucas, Breaking Bad's Brian Cranston, Hollywood stars Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman, and for the very first time, the legendary Jane Fonda. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. We have a new series of Josh starting in just a moment, and our hapless hero is out of the flat and into the woods, and his antics get quite a bit of attention.